Welcome to the Divine Living Talk Show. I'm your host, Gina DeVee, and this is your weekly lifestyle segment where creating a beautiful life becomes the priority and you become even more fabulous. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. So welcome to cooking for you. Yes, you. I hear so many women say like I would never cook for myself or I'm, I hardly ever cook but if I did cook something it's only gonna be for my man or if I was gonna show off and have a dinner party. Well, I don't know about you but after all of those emails and the launches and all the work that you do all day, sometimes I just like to cook for me. So if Glenn's out of town, uh, if I have a night alone, this is, something that I look forward to and that I enjoy just being in my feminine nature, picking out a great recipe and just having the whole evening be me, the kitchen and a great meal. So today I have picked out a recipe that I often enjoy in the south of France and it is mussels. And I think that mussels can be deceivingly uh, intimidating because they're actually such, it's such an easy dish to create. So that's what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna start by putting the broth together, which is two tablespoons of butter and a little bit of olive oil, pretty much the same amount. So I love me some Le Creuset, but any non-aluminum stock pot totally works. You just wanna get that butter melted there with the olive oil as well. And then I'm going to add in about five shallots here. Now shallots are like a really mild onion. They've got a really light flavor, but they're definitely in the onion family. And I'm gonna coat these. In case you don't know what a shallot is, because when I first started learning to cook, I thought it was so intimidating. So this is what a shallot looks like. And I was always like, when they say a shallot, is it like, is this a sh one shallot? Is the whole thing one? So basically when you can break it apart, it's kind of like big garlic bulbs. This is considered one shallot and you would cut it almost like you would garlic. So I'm gonna trim the edges, so take off the top, and then take the peel off. So you have your peeled shallot, which is like a big garlic ball, basically. And the way I cut them is I make these little slits almost all the way through, super thin, going across the length of the shallot. Now you wanna have a really sharp knife to do this because most kitchen accidents actually happen with dull knives, so sharp knives are gonna be your friend. So once you've cut it that way, then you go through almost to the end and go all the way to the back, so you're cutting it crosswise. And then once more, you're gonna go do it this way. So you have these little uniform pieces, so they all cook the same way. Please don't take yourself too seriously with this, because I certainly don't. Get it to the place where most of the Shallots are relatively the same size. Again, this is not gonna change the taste of it. It's really just for uniform cooking. So I'm gonna add this to our shallots in the olive oil and butter. We'll add a little salt and some fresh cracked pepper. Now we've got three cloves of garlic. We're gonna add that in. to our mixture, looking great. Got about a tablespoon of thyme. Three tablespoons of parsley. And then we're gonna add about a cup of some dry cooking wine. I'm going with Chardonnay, but you can do what you want. To kind of give it that nice base. And then stir it all together. Ooh, you can really smell the flavors marinating. So then the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add about a fourth of the, a cup of plum tomatoes. I'm gonna strain them. And here's our strained tomatoes we'll add. So now we're gonna stir all this beautiful shallot, tomato, butter, thyme, parsley, garlic 
And now we're gonna check on the mussels. All right, so now with the mussels, you wanna give them a really good rinse to get any sand or anything off the outside of the mussels. And the other thing that you wanna do is go through each and every mussel to make sure none of them are open. If they're open, you can tap on it and see if it closes. But if it doesn't close tight, like you can even see that one's got a little slit, I'm gonna discard that one. Next, this is what's called the beard of the muscle. And then you just wanna pull that off so that it's all nice and clean. All right, so I've gone through each muscle to make sure that they're, I've washed them off, made sure there's no cracks in any of the shells, de-bearded them, make sure they're all nice and tightly shut, and then literally, just gonna add them. And they're just gonna take a few minutes to cook. You'll know they're done when the mussels have opened up. If any mussels, once they're done, haven't actually opened, you're gonna discard those as well because that would mean that they're not good. But you see how simple this is? The smell is amazing. So we're just gonna cover this and let them cook for a few minutes. All right, so for your party of one night in and your amazing mussel dish, you must have amazing, crusty, garlicky French bread. So this is actually a sourdough baguette. And we're going to make, actually, why don't we make this first? We're gonna make what's called a compound butter. And so I've been letting this butter sit out just for a little bit, so it's a little bit soft. Just relax, you do this like once a year. Um, so you're gonna put a stick of butter in the middle of, this is just parchment paper. And yes, I like a lot of garlic. Here, what we're gonna do first is soften the butter in the parchment paper. So just kind of use the heat from your hand to soften it out. So then I'm gonna add just chopped garlic and you can get all of the ingredients below and chopped parsley. Next, wet a little bit of salt. There we go. Now, what you're gonna do is literally just massage the ingredients together in the parchment paper. So now I've got the butter basically in a roll. You don't have to use parchment paper for this, by the way. You can also just put some kind of room temperature butter in a bowl and mix the garlic, salt, and parsley that way. Okay, so next, what you wanna do is just cut the loaf of bread in half. Then I'm gonna cut it in half again. So we've got some large pieces. Next, we take our beautiful garlic butter and spread it generously. Over top of the surface and then place it on a baking sheet where we'll stick it under the broiler for just a few minutes. So while the bread's in the broiler, you're gonna check on the mussels. Oh yes, look at these beauties. You can see now they've started to open. Some of them are like super open, some of them are still working on it. So they need a few more minutes to go. We'll just stir it around so we can get all that delicious broth evenly dispersed. It's almost ready. Mmm. There we are, come to mama. Homemade garlic bread on sourdough baguette. It's gonna go with the mussels beautifully. All right, I bet they're ready now. There we are, see how nice and wide open these are? They're looking gorge. I would say dinner for one is definitely served. And it took minutes and super easy. You deserve this, my love. Treat yourself well. It doesn't just have to be when other people come around. All right, now it's time to sample the goods. Dip it in the sauce. Mmm, so light, so delicious. You're gonna love it. Let's try the bread. Pretty sure we know how this one goes. Mmm. Yes, thank you. 
This is what Tuesday nights or Wednesday nights or average week nights are for. Treat yourself really well. You know how hard you're working. You deserve to create a little bit of beauty in your life on a daily basis. So I want to see you make this. Post your pictures below and please share this with a friend who just needs to treat herself a whole lot better during the week.